Dunsinane is a play that starts at the point where Shakespeare Macbeth finishes. And its central characters are Seward, who is an English commander, who in the original Macbeth has one line, and Gruach, who is in the original Macbeth, um, Lady Macbeth. And Gruach is a um, historically accurate character. Uh, she didn't die at the end of Macbeth. In fact, she was the wife of three kings and an incredibly powerful woman. And it's really the story about how Seward, the general, the English commander, brings Malcolm, who's been brought up in England, back to Scotland to try and put him on the throne, to try and unite Scotland, and finds in Dunsinane Gruach. Uh, Macbeth's widow. It transpires that not everybody thought that the tyrant was a tyrant. And the tyrant's missus, whom he has been reliably informed, went mad and died, is not mad and not dead. And in fact that the tyrant was king because he was married to her. She's queen in her own right. They are mine. They've come for me. The play is set in the, in the period of Macbeth and certainly it looks like it's set there. Uh, but it was written um, after David Gregg spent quite a lot of time in the Middle East working with writers but also finding out a lot about the Middle East. And it's very much a play about how an occupying force who has the best intentions in the world is trying to unite a country whose political systems are totally adverse to the idea of English democracy. He has come into their country and destabilised it as far as they are concerned. And they are trying to get back to where they were or as near as they can manage. So they use the same words, but they mean different things by them. And that's one of the things that the play is also about. It's about how you can appear to be speaking the same language, but have a different meaning. One of David Gregg's most extraordinary abilities is his, is a, his ability to bring humour into what could be a very dark scenario. But the reality is that you have in Gruach an incredibly witty queen who uh, has humour very at her resource. But you also have a group of young men who are, despite being in the middle of a war zone, are young men and, and behave like young men. So a lot of the play is incredibly lively and vital and funny. Uh, and that's one of the things that I love most about it. A play that starts with an army turning into a forest is off to a flying start, really. And I hope that they will enjoy uh, the glimpse that they get into the different layers of that society. It's, a, it's quite a thrilling play. Um, it's got a real epic sweep to it. It's a fantastic epic, this play. It's a fantastic story. Uh, and it has all the things we've just been talking about. So it, it's, it's, got a, it's got a brilliant story. It's about love, it's about war, it's very funny. And it's not to do with their name or their place in actual history, but there's something about these characters that David's written that stays with you. You sort of recognise them from some mythical landscape, maybe that you knew in your childhood, and they'll stay with you after the play has finished, in a good way, I hope. <laughs> You are our